Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mr. Budahas, your online math teacher. In today's video, you will learn how to solve exponential expressions with zero and negative integral exponents. At the end of this video, you will be able to correctly simplify exponential expressions with zero and negative integral exponents using the loss of exponents. And correctly write zero and negative integral exponents of exponential expressions as positive exponents. Let's learn first what are exponents. Exponents, also known as powers, are values that show how many times to multiply a base number by itself. For example, x to the power of 4 to simplify this, you have to multiply x by itself four times, and that is x times x times x times x. Another example, 4 to the third power or 4 cubed, that is equal to 4 times 4 times 4. You will just multiply 4 by itself four, uh, three times. And that is equal to 64. Loss of exponent. Let a and b be any real number not equal to 0 and m and are integers. Then the following rules apply to exponential expressions. First, product rule. If you are to multiply two exponential expressions that have the same basis, just copy the base, then add the exponent. That is, a to the power of m times a to the power of n, just copy the base, since they have the same base, which is a, then add the exponent, m plus n. For example, x squared times x to the fourth power, that is equal to x, to the power of 2 plus 4. Then we have x to the power of 6. Another example, y to the power of negative 1 times y to the power of negative 3. Just copy the same base, which is y. Then add the exponent negative 1 plus negative 3. And that is equal to y to the power of negative 4. This is not yet the final answer because the exponent is negative. We still have to um, simplify this one, but I will discuss that one later. Quotient rule. If you are to divide two exponential expressions that have the same base, that is a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n, just copy the same base, which is a, then subtract the exponent, m minus n. For example, x to the power of 4 divided by x to the power of 2, Copy the same base, which is x, then subtract the exponent, 4 minus 2. And that is equal to x squared. Another example, y to the power of negative 1 divided by y to the power of negative 3. Just copy the base, which is y, then subtract the exponent, negative 1 minus negative 3, negative negative times negative that's positive so you have negative 1 plus 3 then y is to the uh, y to the power of 2 or y squared third is the power rule in this case we have to ask ourselves how can we raise power to another power or how can we raise exponent to another exponent that is, if you have a to the m raised to the power of n, just multiply the exponent. You have a to the power of m times n. 
Another, if you have a to the m times b to the n raised to the power of p, just copy the base. You have a and b. Then, distribute this power p to each power. And that is a to the power of m times p times b to the power of n times p. For example, x squared raised to the power of 3. Just copy x as the base, then multiply the exponents. 2 times 3, and that is equal to x to the power of 6. Another example, x squared times y to the power of negative 2 raised to the power of 3. That is, distribute this third power to each power. So, you have x to the power of 2 times 3 times y to the power of negative 2 times 3. And that's equal to x to the power of 6 times y to the power of negative 6. Fourth rule, the zero exponent. If we have an exponential form raised to the power of 0, that is a to the power of 0, the answer is always equal to 1. Whatever the number raised to the power of 0, the answer is always equal to 1. And even if it is group, and that is a to the power of m times b to the power of n raised to the power of 0, that is also equal to 1. For example, 3 to the power of 0, that's equal to 1. And if we have m squared times n raised to the power of 0, that is also equal to 1. Fifth, we have the negative exponent. If we have a raised to the power of negative m, just take the reciprocal of this, and that is 1 over a to the power of m. This is what I am saying, that if you have a negative exponent, just take the reciprocal. Because uh, in mathematics, you cannot have a final answer that has a negative exponent. You must uh, convert it into positive exponent. And to do that, just take the reciprocal of the given expression. And that is equal to 1 over a to the power of m. This time, your exponent is positive. For example, x raised to the power of negative 2. Since the exponent is negative, take the reciprocal of x to the power of negative 2. And that is 1 over x to the power of 2. At this time, the exponent is already positive. Another, x cubed times y to the power of negative 2. Since the base that has a negative power is only y, take the reciprocal of y to the power of negative 2. And that is, then multiply that uh, 1 to x cubed. And now we have x cubed over y squared. Let's try these examples. Number 1. Simplify 3 to the 5th power times 3 to the 5th power divided by 3 to the 8th power. Copy first 3 to the 5th power. Then... Solve for the quotient rule. 3 to the 5th power divided by 3 to the 8th power. Since they have the same base, 
we can apply the quotient rule in which we have x to the power of m divided by x to the power of n. Just copy the base, then subtract the exponents. And that is, the base is 3, just copy 3, then subtract the exponent 5 minus 8. 5 minus 8 is negative 3. Now we have 3 to the 5th power times 3 to the negative 3. Here we are going to apply the product rule in which we have x to the m power times x to the nth power. Just copy the base, then add the exponent m plus n. So we have 3 to the power of 5 plus negative 3. That is according to the product rule. 5 plus negative 3 is positive 2. Now we have 3 squared. And 3 squared is equal to 3 times 3 and that's 9. Example number 2. Simplify negative 2x cubed y to the power of negative 4 raised to the power of negative 2. In here, we are going to distribute this negative 2 to each power. For the power of negative 2, we have 1, then distribute this negative 2 and that becomes negative 2 to the power of negative 2. And for x cubed, we have x cubed to the power of negative 2. For y to the power of negative 4, it becomes y to the power of negative 4 times negative 2. Then apply the power rule. x cubed to the power of negative 2, just multiply the powers. That is 3 times negative 2 and the same thing here, negative 4 times negative 2. Then simplify, we have negative 2 to the power of negative 2. And 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. Next is apply the negative exponent. If we have a negative exponent, get the reciprocal of that expression. For negative 2 to the power of negative 6, or negative 2, get its reciprocal, we have 1 over negative 2 squared. This time, this is already positive because we talk already the reciprocal. For the second term, we have x to the power of negative 6, and that is 1 over x to the power of 6. And then just copy y to the power of 8. Then, simplify negative 2 to the power of 2, and that is equal to 4. Negative 2 times negative 2, that's 4. Then, multiply. 1 times 1 is 1, times y to the power of 8 is y to the power of 8. And 4 times x to the 6th power, that is 4x to the 6th power. And this is the final answer. We cannot simplify this anymore because they don't have the same base. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.